Court of Appeals has ruled that Donald Trump is not immune from prosecution for alleged crimes he committed during his presidency to reverse the 2020 election result. The court further added that Trump does not have the authority to break federal laws. More details in our next report. The Supreme Court seems poised to reject attempts to kick former President Donald Trump off the 2024 ballot. A definitive ruling for the leading Republican candidate for president would largely end efforts in Colorado, Maine and elsewhere to prevent his name from appearing on the ballot. The court, however, is expected to make a fast decision. I just say that uh, in watching the Supreme Court today, I thought it was very it's a very beautiful process. I hope that democracy in this country will continue uh, because right now we have a very, very tough situation with all of the radical left ideas, with the weaponization of uh, politics. They weaponize it like it's never been weaponized before. Earlier, a federal appeals court ruled that former U.S. President Donald Trump does not have immunity from prosecution in the 2021 capital attack case after his defeat in 2020 election. A three-judge panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit rejected Trump's claim that he cannot be prosecuted because the allegations are related to his official responsibilities as president. The court further added that Trump does not have the authority to break federal laws. On January 2021, Donald Trump supporters entered and attacked the U.S. Capitol as Congress met to certify Joe Biden's presidential election. In 2021, Capital Case is one of four criminal prosecutions that Donald Trump faces as he remains the presumptive frontrunner of the Republican presidential nomination. Trump is facing 91 charges in four cases. The New York State Hush Money Case, the Federal Classified Documents Case, the Federal Election Interference Case and the Georgia Election Interference Case. In the New York State hush money case, the indictment accused Trump of changing business records in connection to a payment made during the final week of the 2016 presidential campaign to adult film star Stormy Daniels, who had threatened to reveal her 2006 sexual encounter with Trump. In the federal classified documents case, the indictment accused Trump of taking highly sensitive national security documents when he left the White House in January 2021 and resisting the government's repeated attempts to retrieve them. In the Georgia election interference case, the indictment lists 41 charges, 13 of which are against Trump, alleging that they attempted to unlawfully overturn the 2020 election results in Georgia and subvert the voters' will. Donald Trump is leading Republican nomination for the presidential election. He earlier defeated Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley and Vivek Ramaswamy in Iowa and New Hampshire primary. With Neha Kumari, Bureau Report, India Today.